Vegetarian started Cucumber Town two years ago. It's a Tumblr for food bloggers and now they are online in more than 160 countries and the 2.0 version is about to come online. And on Interfood we'll discuss the story behind Cucumber Town. Chirian, why did you start the blog back in 2012? So I wanted to start my own food blog, put my recipes and notes and app online and there wasn't an easy way to do it. So I kind of figured out that if a programmer like me finds it difficult, uh, it might be a thousand times more difficult for other housewives and moms and people out there who want to blog about food. So I kind of started this uh, platform with three other people in three continents. And what about the name Cucumber Town is quite funny, right? Yeah, it's quite funny to the Western audience actually, but it, Cucumber Town means Vellarika Patanam, a language in the southernmost part of India called Malayalam. It, it is a place where anything is possible. Uh, it's a metaphorical name. So when it translates it into English, it sounds a bit funny, but trust me, it is a really good name. And are there any, any pro chefs that started small on Cucumber Town? Do you know stories like that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. A lot of people who started on Cucumber Town who are really small went on to become uh, celebrities. Uh, especially there's a story in Bangalore where there was this uh, uh, lady who was uh, also a financial advisor at a, one of the bigger banks. Uh, she started baking cakes, putting things up online and she's now uh, one of the most prominent celebrities in and around the area. So tons of stories like that. So it's becoming more and more popular. What's there more to expect? Uh, revenue. So we want to make this food blog into a revenue stream and livelihood for the blogger, which means that housewife sitting across the world starts a food blog in one to two years time. This becomes like an income and they can quit their own daily nine to five jobs and just work on this, you know. And what is your ultimate cucumber dream for the future? Uh, make this into a real revenue source and a livelihood for people. It's a very difficult thing to do, but if we succeed in getting people like 2,000 to 3,000 US dollars per month, that's a great thing to We started with that dream. We want to continue on that dream. It might take us one, one and a half more years to come, but we'll be there, you know. So the smile on a mom who's working in San Francisco, telling the world that, hey, you know, I, I'm i doing this food blog and I make around like $3,000 per month and that's great for me. That smile is what I want to wait, you know, like wait and see. Thanks for your inspiring story. For you foodies, if you want to start a food blog, go to cucumbertown.com or go to interconnection.com. Bye-bye.